Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Today I have a small or a collective haul. I'm not going to call it small. I'm going to call it a collective small. A uh, haul. Small. I, I have been picking up a few things and they've been coming in slowly, 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 slowly. So one of the things that I picked up, I thought it was this, but no. Here it is. And I've had it a while. And I hadn't had a chance to share it with you all. But I picked up this Diamond Press uh, Paper Dolls uh, stamp and die set. And the reason I picked it up, not so much for the dolls because I'm horrible at coloring. Uh, but because I wanted free shipping. <laughs> and I needed to spend $5 more. But not only that, it does have sentiments. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them, but let me pull them out. so And maybe you'll be able to see them. It has sentiments in here. It has the doll stamps. But it had some uh, sentiments that I really like. They're more like vintage sentiments. So that's the reason why I picked them up. Um, and here they are. And it ha they sent me a bonus one. And I did stamp it out, but what did I do with it? I thought I had put it back in here. Uh, they sent me a, like a bonus um, sentiment. And I don't see it. Hold on, let me take this stuff out. And then I'll put it back away. So I did cut out some of the, the dolls and some of the dresses. But I'm not really good at coloring, so... Eh. But I'll share with you the, the sheet, the inspiration or the directions, instruction sheet. But here are the dolls and then you can color them any skin tone that you want. And they come with several dresses and they also come with the dies to cut them out. And they also come with sentiments. So here is some of the sentiments right there. So this one says the thing about being vin vintage is that it never goes out of style. And then it says happy birthday. Then there's one that says bestie, a ride or die friend, a partner in crime who has seen you at your worst and helps you be your best. So I really like these sentiments. And this is my bonus one that I got. The thing about being vintage is that it never goes out of style. Happy birthday. And I love that. I love that uh, the sentiments in this uh, particular set. So let me put these back. I had these on the sheet so you guys could see what they look like. But these were $5. So that's the only reason why I picked them up because they were $5. And I needed to spend five more dollars to get these pockets. These pockets are also done and press. And, um, and I get them because I like the fact that they're uh, made very well. And then they also come with a... A little strip that you put in it's got a separate pocket um, opening so you can label your die and this one's in there backwards as a matter of fact I need to to change it but it comes with um, the strip that you can label your your dies and it's got a certain pocket so this pocket opens up from end to end but it's got this extra little section where you put your label in and and that's why I like this because I can label my my dies and um, and then it's got that little extra and there is a box that you use to organize these in but I didn't want the box I just wanted the pockets so I did pick up a couple of those and I wanted the free shipping now I also picked up this on eBay this tonic studio It's called Ascot pillbox uh, millinery shop die and stamp set and there she is and there is a hat down here she also has the stamp for the face and then a couple different hats and a heart so I did use this one and it is by tonic studio and I created a card that I want to share with y'all look at this pretty card you guys is that pretty or what this die right here is a really nice size die um, it measures across 
uh, right at three inches at the tip of the nose and then the height it's about three and maybe seven eighths of an inch in height just the the you know the the face or the silhouette the profile of the face so it's a really really good size and i did pair it up with some of my anna griffin this uh, particular die was from the birthday from the create eight box this die was in there so that's what i used here and then here she is and i did color her up and she does have embossing on her hair and then, of course, the stamp for the side profile of the face. I added a little pearl earring to her. And this is the hat that was underneath the die that you didn't get to see. But I, then I added some flowers and little tucked in little bits of lace. And this fan is an Anna Griffin fan that my friend Carolyn sent me. And I didn't want to use it because... You know, I have the die cuts that she cut for me. So I like to use them sparingly. But after using it here... And um, having this a uh, tonic uh, vintage lady, I decided that I needed to have these fans. And I did order them, uh, but they haven't come in yet. But So I was okay with using this one because I thought, you know what, I'm going to be on a mission. I'm going to go ahead and look for them and I'm going to purchase them. Because there was another style in this lady and I purchased it as well, but it's not here yet. But this was the first one I bought because this one is the one I like the best. And I did make it. Uh, Carnation Craft has a way of doing their cards where they cut two of the base. And then they score the back portion at about a half an inch. I think you can see the score line there. And what that does is it gives me a tent fold card. You don't crease the front one. You crease the back one. So this card will stand up nicely to put on display. So instead of making it an easel card where it takes up a little bit more room on the surface, on your desk or whatever, this one is just a tent fold card and it doesn't really open up that much. Like it's not going to slide open, but it does open it up and you can add your sentiment in there. I don't have anything yet, but I'm going, I want to use some of these, uh, one of these sentiments in there. I just don't know which one. So that's what I created with that particular, uh, die. And then I picked up. Um, and I'm going to be kind of be all over the place, guys. Uh, you see some things die cut out here on my desk or things that came in yesterday. And I wanted to share them with you guys and show you what they look like cut out. So someone was selling this one on eBay. And it is, let me grab a piece of cardstock. It is a, um, a die set, uh, a stamp and die set. And these are Christmas uh, sentiments. Let me see if it's not turned the right way. Let me turn this because um, the way it's put in there, you don't see, you see the words. So let me turn it in a way that you will not see the words. Or was it put in there right? Let's see. It might have been in there right, but because of the printing on the back, you couldn't see. Yeah, you can't see it. So I'm going to take them out because I do need to put in a separate uh, piece of white cardstock so I can see what's in there. I'm going to turn it sideways so you guys can see. Uh, see, it's got different sentiments that you would then cut out with the die set. There are the dies, die frames. So you could do these. Uh, I shared these before, but they were not Christmas. They were just regular ones. And this is the Christmas one. It says, have a jolly, holly jolly Christmas. Sending Christmas blessings. Sending best wishes for the new year. And what I like about these is that the sentiment is not attached to the frame. They're two separate stamps. So you can mix and match. And I love that because I would love to emboss this in maybe a gold or a green or a red. And then the center in a gold or a black or whatever color or stamp it or emboss, wet emboss. So I like that. Uh, and then it, it, it comes with three actually stamp sets. So let me share those with y'all. And then I'll have to take them out and really fix them the way they need to be. I am waiting for an order from uh, when Anna Griffin has her supercell. Uh, my friend Carolyn, who is Tea Time and Dolls, she sent me the link and I was able to shop during that super sale. But supposedly it takes about a month for your stuff to come in. And my stuff has not come in, but I did notice that some of the ladies 
were already sharing their things that had come in. So hopefully any day now. Um, and I ordered a binder with some of these stamps to put, and then I'm going to add these to that binder and I'll share that binder with you guys when it comes in. But here is another set. So all three stamp sets came with this die set and it, this is an eBay purchase and you can see that there's different sentiments here and different frames. So you can make beautiful, beautiful, uh, dimensional sentiments to go, um, with these frames. So I love that. I do want to sit down maybe at my kitchen table one day because there's not too much stuff up there the way there is on my countertop and hopefully uh, make a few and put them in my stash. And then here is the other one. Look at how nice those are. So I am going to add this, the white, to the backing of these. So that was an eBay purchase and I think I paid like about $40 for this. So um, it wasn't really that cheap, but she doesn't make these anymore. So it's kind of a discontinued thing. And when I can get it, I get it. And then I picked up from Carnation Craft a couple of things as well. And those came in. Um, oh, snap. Oh, snap. I forgot to mention I picked up, I got the Anna Griffin, the purse, the auto ship. So there's three more after this one. This is the very first one. And it took, mine took a while to come in. I haven't had a chance to play with it. But it's a really good size purse, you guys. And I'll tell you what it measures. Let me just slide it over. Uh, the silhouette die measures, uh, sorry. The silhouette die measures right at about five inches in in across. And from top to bottom, it measures four and a quarter inches. So this is going to make a really nice size uh, purse. And I am collecting a few because I do have a few, but I don't have very many. I think I had three and they were maybe... One of them was LDRS, the the tote. And then I had two, one or two from Tonic. Two, I think. And then, of course, Scrap Diva sent me some, so I have some of hers as well. But I do want to collect the uh, purse, different purse dies. And I'm waiting for one from Crafter's Companion. And mostly not the, the handbag part, but the sentiment stamps. That's what I wanted from that one. So then I picked up this one. This is a huge, let me turn it sideways, die set from Crafter's Companion. Now, even though I am on their design team, they have not done anything since the pandemic uh, with, um, sorry, I guess I wasn't supposed to mention that. Anyway, that, since that, they haven't done anything with the U.S. design team, but I love Carnation Crafts. So I still purchase from them. So I purchased this because we picked up, uh, my friend Carolyn and I, and I think Jackie did too, some of them. Yes, Jackie, Jacqueline did too. Uh, we picked up the Anna Griffin house dies, and we've been trying to collect everything that goes to those. And I didn't want to have to keep buying their little flower replenishing uh, things for the for the uh, flower card or the little houses or anything like that. I wanted to find a die with artwork that I could make my own. And I thought this might fit the bill, but I, it might not. I mean, I cut it out and I'll share it with you guys, but I really got to do some real thinking uh, before I can create little uh, types of swags to go on the windows and different things like that. So anyway, this one is called In the Courtyard Card Shape. And this right here, I think is like a little, uh, you know where there's a well in the middle? I mean, a fountain in the middle and there's a puddle, a little, uh, like a little uh, pond or a puddle of water. That's what this is, um, this corner one. And then you get some vases. And I think this is like a stone wall or column and then some brickwork you have some arches right here so you get a 
bunch of pieces. Look at that. So the, the main piece is this whole outer thing is one die because it's a card base. And then you have all the mats and layers like you have two different uh, mats in different sizes. And then you get the one with the artwork and then you get a trellis. And then, I mean, it's got all kinds of dies, you guys. So I got a chance to cut these out and I want to share them with you all. Here is the one of the brick arches. I cut that out and you print out your artwork. And usually you have to print it out in an A4 paper that is photo, matte photo paper. And that's what I use. And if I'm doing a single-sided, like I did these, they're white in the back. I use a, uh, I think it's like, I'll tell you right now. It is 220 GSM. My printer has problems. They do have a 300 GSM. My printer has problems, but... Up to a 220, 240, I can print okay without any problems in my printer. So this is a 220 GSM, which is a heavyweight paper. Um, and it has the little flowers. So I have two here. Let me line them up so I don't confuse you. I have two. So I could embellish these. I mean, I could add foam to them and make it dimensional. So that arch is this one right here. So I did that one. And then this arch over here that has all that detail work is because those are flowers. So let me just pick up one. Here is that arch, and it's got all the little tiny flowers. You see that? So I thought maybe I could make something for my little houses, my Anna Griffin houses, with this particular die. So that's why I picked it up, because I knew, I mean, just look at my pinky and then look at the size of those little flowers. They're tiny. And then I cut out some of the layering. These are layering pieces that go to those arches. So, you know, you have different um, little flowers. Um, here's like a little cluster of flowers. So you have different little branches and stuff that go to those. So that's what that is. Let me move that aside. And I cut those out because I wanted to share them with you guys. And I did print this out, but I haven't cut it out. And I'll share with you what they look like. Here's that stone wall. It could be a bench. So I printed, and I cut them apart already. It was an A4 sheet. And here are the flower pots in different sizes. And you know, we have the flower cart from Anna Griffin. So I can make my own little pots using some of these little uh, flowers to create to create some kind of little flower pots to go in my flower cart if I run out. So that's uh, why I bought this set. And some of it will work for what I want it and some of it won't, but I will definitely use it. So that's this one. And uh, let me put this one on the bottom. I got little flowers everywhere, you guys. That was Carnation Craft. And I have two more that are Carnation Craft. So I ordered this one which is the natural arbor and it this there is collections to this but I don't I don't like everything so I try to choose the things that I really like and things that I can I think that I can use in my craft room so the arbor was not so much my thing but I love flowers and I knew these were going to be small so let me turn it to the back and you can see how tiny there's my pinky and the, there are the little flowers so you know those are tiny these leaves are bigger but the, these are small. So I did pick that up and I cut these out and I will share with you what they look like. Because I have them right here. So here's that cluster of leaves. And then here is the smaller leaves. So they're not very big. I could probably cut these apart and make them into some kind of flower uh, swags to add to my flower cart or my little Anna Griffin houses. And then there's a little flower one, like a climbing flower. And then, oh my gosh, I'm going to put it on the tip of my finger. There, there's, there's a little flower. Now, there are different color of artworks for these. I only got the free one. I did not purchase the other ones because I wanted to cut them out and see what I thought about them. But eventually, I will purchase all the colors. And there's usually about five, four or five colors. And then there's a gray one. 
gray and white one and I usually get all of them that way no matter what I'm working with I have different colors then I picked up this uh, ruddy roses and uh, I have been admiring these for a while these have been out for a while and I hadn't picked them up I didn't even pick up the artwork for it yet I know there's a free one I haven't even downloaded to cut it out or anything but this is really really pretty and this is a smaller scale flower because I have some really large ones and this was smaller and this had the buds and everything. So that's why I wanted to pick this one up. And it does come with two, it comes with the split die to put it on the edge of a card. And then it comes with the silhouette if I want to put a backing to the detail artwork. And then it comes with the layering pieces to decoupage my roses and make them 3D. So I picked that one up. And then I picked up the pe uh, the peonies with posy, and these are really pretty too. And I knew these were bigger, uh, and I had been admiring them for a while. I love flower flowers, guys, and I don't have any in my yard, so this is the only flowers I get to enjoy. Or I just had a birthday, and I got a bunch of flowers for my birthday, and I love them. So here is the this one, and I have not cut it out, but I thought I could. Do, I was hoping some of them were small enough that I could add to my Anna Griffin houses, but it looks like these are a little bigger, larger, and I won't be able to. But nonetheless, I still love them, and I will add them to other projects. And they come with a split die, they come with a silhouette die, and then with a detail die for the artwork. Both pieces come that way. Then you have the layering pieces to decoupage the flowers, the, ro the flowers and the leaves. So a really, really nice set from Carnation Crafts. But like I said, I didn't cut that out. So let me move these out of the way. I have stuff scattered everywhere, guys. And then I did add a link to this one in my Tonic Studio video where I linked uh, the other little purses from Tonic Studio. I linked this one because this one came out after the other one and I didn't have it when I did my video but it just came in it's called Tress Tress Cheek Check Check this Hispanic in me clutch bag die set this is really tiny guys I thought it was gonna be bigger but it ended up being really really small but nonetheless I love it so there it is. Um, I feel like I need a backing to this. Mm, I don't know if that helped or uh, I know. I know. I know. Well, maybe not. I thought I had a magnetic sheet here, but I don't see it. So anyway, this one, I'm going to measure the little purse for you guys. Now that I have it, I can tell you. And I'm not going to measure this this portion right here. Even though it's a one-piece die, this is the side to the bag. So I'm just going to measure the widest die on the front, which is eh, right at four inches, you guys. So it's four inches across the front of the bag. And the height is mm, about two and three quarters is the height it's, it's gorgeous you guys uh it's like i said it's not very big but when tonic makes a die set they give you a bunch so you got i can't even read these because they're so small i have to go ahead and cut them out but these are like um these right here and this one, and there's one over here, are like embossing plates where you would uh, cut the circle out, add one of the embossing circles, and it would uh, imprint it into your paper. So that's what these are, these sentiments. And you get a wavy scalloped oval, then you get one that has the little dots going around it, and then you get one that's just uh, solid you know no waviness or nothing just a, an oval and then you can add them to this tag piece right there and then you have different see this has layering pieces already in there uh arranged in the die set but then you have extras 
so you can add different designs to your purse here's the handle right there gorgeous and then here's this here's another strap probably the closure to it and you get a bow look at this little tiny bow that you get and look at the tail there's a tail to the bow so you get everything to deck out this purse and i'm gonna love playing with this so i'm gonna be doing my little handbags for sure so that is by Tonic Studio. I will link whatever I can in the description box. Uh, some of the links will be affiliate links like Tonic. Uh, but Carnation Craft, they don't have an affiliate program. But I still love their dyes. So I will link their website in the description box. And you can go in there and have a look. Because they have tons of stuff. Anyway, if you were to purchase items with uh, the affiliate links that I... Uh, include in the description box that means i will make a small commission it won't cost you any more or any less it just means that i will make a small commission and i do purchase most of my products so that helps me to be able to purchase more and share other different things with you guys that are coming out or what's new in the crafting community or the paper crafting community so this is by tonic studio and then and then i was thinking Boy, I would love to have, when I was working with the Scrap Diva purse, I wish that I had had a foil or a shiny patent leather looking black cardstock. And I didn't have any. And I'm sorry I can't link this, you guys. But I found this one and it was the last one on Amazon. I'm so sorry. But I will share it with you guys because it's so shiny. And I think that if I emboss it, it's going to look gorgeous. It is going to be gorgeous. And boss, look at the shine on that when the light hits it. Imagine that emboss with the tuft uh, embossing folder that I used with the Scrap Diva purse. So that's why I picked this up to be able to use it. And it only came with, I don't know, just a few sheets. Ten sheets. And they were about a dollar a sheet. It wasn't anything. It wasn't really economical, but it wasn't really expensive either. So I picked that up and I'm trying to see if I have anything else that I picked up that I didn't share with you guys. I do have some things coming that are not here yet. I'm looking around, believe it or not, in my craft room because I tend to have things come in and I, I just pile them up. And, and forget to share them with you guys. But I believe that is all that I got in. I am waiting on, like I said, another purse die from uh, Crafter's Companion. And I am waiting on another tonic, uh, the woman silhouette, or the profile of the woman for a different one for that one. Uh, I'm waiting on a few things, as uh, Samantha Griffin stuff, so I'll be able to share that with you guys when it comes in. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to share today with y'all. I hope everyone is having a great day. And remember, if you use any of the affiliate links that I uh, put in the description box, I will make a small commission. And I really appreciate when you guys do that because me personally, I'm not one of those people that grew up with technology when I was young. So the computer is very difficult for me. And what I have learned, I've learned on my own by the grace of God. And uh, it is a lot of work for me. It doesn't come easy for me to add those links for you guys. But I try. I try to learn something all the time. And one day I'm going to conquer it where it just comes so easy. But for right now, I struggle with that. But I do it uh, because it helps my channel grow. And it helps you guys because you don't have to do the homework because I already did it for you. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day and God bless. Bye.